This is the Mission San Juan Batista. The Native Americans encountered by the missionaries were called the Ama Munson tribe, a tribe from the Ohlone Nation, and they also encountered the Yokuts tribe. The Mission San Juan Batista missionaries started to convert the Muxins and Yokuts to Christianity. When Fray Dante and Hermenegildo Dosa were the people, and when they recommended the site for Mission San Juan Batista, they didn't know that the site they chose was on a split beneath Earth's surface that causes earthquakes. So the people who lived at Mission San Juan Batista suffered from many earthquakes during its lifetime, and also the people who lived in it. The people living at the Mission San Juan Batista six reported six earthquakes every day for 19 days, and all of the buildings were badly damaged. They had to be reconstructed afterwards. Um, at the end of 1800s, Mission San Juan Batista was becoming a self was quickly becoming a self-sustaining mission that could do many things, like growing or raising livestock, or or make anything it needed. More than 500 neophytes converted and came to live at the mission. And the mission, Mission San Juan Batista was a big community. Next, we have the bells. The bells tell you when to eat, sleep, relax, and pray. It was not that easy for those men, women, and children to get adjusted to their new way of life. If you were a neophyte, then you would, the first bell rings to wake you up. Then you would go to the church and celebrate mass, which is a Catholic ceremony where people would gather up in the church and praise and celebrate God. When you're done, you would eat. They would usually eat a porridge named a toilet, which is made from corn. Once you're done with breakfast, you go off to work. At noon, the bell is ringing for lunch, and once you eat lunch, you will relax, because when you're done, you are allowed to have a few hours to relax, which is called a siesta. After that, you go to work again. You hear the last bell. It's time to start working for the day. That's what the bells are for. Then we have the then we have the cemetery where people were buried. And then we had the, the church of Mission San Juan Batista where people would come in. In the middle is the altar. Um and the top of the altar is the cross. The cross, I guess, is a sign for Catholicism. And sometimes when people when when people were praying, they would kneel down on the floor and you know, yeah, pray. And that was the end of the church. That's what they would do in the church. This next part is Padre's Quarters. Padre's Quarters was where people, I mean, priests would live. Um, it was pretty, it was a pretty simple room that the priest would have of at least one bed, uh, a, a chair, and I think one table. Well, that was it for Mission San Juan Batista. Thank you for listening.